Hello there, this is David Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today I'd like to show you a little bit about how Amadeus Pro works in the new version, version 2. One of the things that I quite like about this is the way that now that when you take one of these nodes that you put in there to adjust the volume or gain of your sound, it actually shows up in the waveform as well. So now we can see that it really is uh, a lower volume there because the waveform is smaller too. Bring that one down there as well and we see we've got everything sort of down at a lower volume in that uh, situation there. Of course it works the same the way around if we put in a uh, node over there and another one over there, another one in there and I can increase the volume and the size of the waveform changes there too. A new thing with this latest version of Amadeus Pro is that when you bring things in and say for instance we're in here at the moment in this sound that we're working on. Let's go back to Finder and we want to bring in, let's say we're going to bring in a whoosh. If I drag and drop this in here now, what it's going to do is going to put it in at the insertion point of the file, to put it in exactly where I dropped it. So now we've got our whoosh in there. Whereas before what would happen is that it would create a new track when I dragged a file in like that. So now if I want to drag a file in and have a new track, then what I have to do first of all is to first of all add a new stereo track, then go back to Finder again, and this time I'm going to bring in this Elephant Romp song, drag it and drop it in, and it will go to wherever I drop it in this new track. There we have it now. And as you can see, as before, it is possible to have one track which starts at the beginning, and then you can have another track which starts further down there, so so you don't want the music to start until after the whoosh. Today works, so that's uh, fairly handy. Now another thing that you can do with this here also is you can take these things and you can split tracks and move them around. So let's split the track there for instance and have our whoosh further along the timeline. And we could do the same again there. We could split the track again there too. And split that up. So it just could be, for instance, that we need to move this and position it so it's just, you know, in this particular spot here, which is uh, just where we want it. And before you couldn't do that, you always had to have some space in between here. So the way I used to do it before was to add silence in this section here. Now I can just have separate sections and uh, a big gap in between. Much better. Now, if you haven't done so already, go and click on the like button to like this video if you've found it any use at all. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so that any time I bring something new out, you'll be the first to hear about it. Bye-bye now. Until next time.